Patients often attend breast clinic via referral from their GP or self-referral. They often come to the clinic because they've developed a new symptom or something that they find worrying in the breast. This can be breast pain, discharge from the nipple, nipple inversion, skin changes, uh, or a breast lump or lump in the armpit. Any of these conditions are assessed in the breast clinic. And it's important to attend to make sure that if you do develop one of these symptoms, to make sure that it's not a cancer that's causing it. The vast majority of patients who attend breast clinic even with these symptoms, don't have a breast cancer. But about one in 20 patients with these symptoms will have a breast cancer. Many patients attend breast clinic appointments every day to have their symptoms assessed. And one of the most important things is to try and avoid being too anxious before clinic. It's very normal when you develop signs that could be a breast cancer that patients are particularly anxious, but the vast majority of patients won't have a breast cancer. When they attend the clinic, they'll be assessed by a consultant breast surgeon and with a, a history and then a clinical examination. So it's important to have clothes on that you can remove the top half easily and take the bra off so it can be fully examined with both breasts and both armpits. It's recommended that moisturizers and deodorants are not used prior to an appointment because they can disrupt some of the views on mammograms. But other than that, patients don't need to prepare too much. Uh, from a physical point of view, but psychologically, knowing that they could be told there's an abnormality in the breast and it could be serious, it's often useful to bring someone along to the clinic to be with them as a, as a bit of support for that. When patients attend a breast clinic appointment, they're typically given a triple assessment, and this is a clinical assessment, a radiological assessment, so that's imaging tests, and then some patients will go on to have further tests such as biopsies. The clinical assessment involves the breast surgeon speaking to the patient and ask, taking a clinical history, so asking about the breast symptoms and assessing that patient's risk of a breast cancer by finding about conditions such as the oral contraceptive pill, hormone replacement therapy use, number of children they've had, breastfeeding and family history. They'll then be examined, so we'll have both breasts and both armpits examined to assess for signs that could be a breast cancer or other form of abnormality within the breast. Following the examination, patients will go down for some imaging tests on the same day. And depending on the age of the patient, they may require mammograms, which are x-rays of the breasts, and ultrasound scan, which is a jelly scan, like the type used in pregnancy, which gives us a, a good focal look at the area of the breast that's causing concern. If the imaging is normal and the examination was normal, then often patients are discharged at the time and told that there's no need for any further tests. Some patients will have an abnormality in the breast and biopsies are often taken where a small amount of tissue is removed from the breast with a needle under local anesthetic, often with ultrasound guidance. The patient will be informed at the time whether the biopsy has been taken to prove something is benign or if it's suspicious for a cancer. So they have time to prepare for when the results are available in clinic the following week. If no biopsies have been taken on the day, the patients will find out that their imaging tests were normal on the day and generally be discharged from the clinic unless they have any specific symptom that requires follow-up. This is the vast majority of patients. Approximately one in 10 patients in a breast clinic will require a biopsy. Biopsy tests have to be sent to a lab and have special tests performed on them, and that takes some time. So the patients are usually seen back in clinic one week later, and the biopsy results should be available at this time for the patient. So the week can be a difficult time of waiting when you've had a biopsy taken, but certainly the conversation with the surgical team at the time should give some indication as to how worried they would be regarding this being a cancer or a benign result or non-cancerous result. When a breast cancer is newly diagnosed, this is obviously a very difficult time for any patient. So support is hugely important. You have a consultation with the surgeon at the time who will explain the next steps within the process. And often that's an operation, but sometimes can be other treatments such as chemotherapy up front. You'll be assisted with a breast care nurse who will support you through the diagnosis and be a point of contact to get in touch with if you have any questions regarding your specific treatments. You also tend to be given information leaflets regarding the condition that you have and the treatments that you're going to attend. So 
support is very local at the time, but also there's lots of cancer charities around and local and national charities which are able to support patients. It'll also be directed towards patient support groups, which some patients can find very useful on social media. So there's lots of support for breast cancer patients these days, and you certainly shouldn't feel that you're fighting this alone.